I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios at NVIDIA GTC at the Nebius booth, joined by the team from Lynx Analytics. We are very excited to chat with Daniel. We've got Habik. And I want to start with you, Georgie. Georgie Laitai, first of all, tell us the use case of Nebius and why you chose Nebius in the first place. Yeah, so we are releasing a new platform, which is retooled on the NVIDIA framework. There's a bunch of graph neural networks, BioNemo framework. And one of the use case for us is to have multi-GPU computation. And the reason we also chose Nebius, because it's one of the only provider of choice where there is an easy way to set up these multi-GPU clusters so that our matrix multiplication computations are faster and more efficient. So that was the reason, and then there are several other smaller reasons, but the key reason is the cluster GPU use for our new platform. So Georgie, when you're kicking off this journey and you're trying to figure out how to build the next great tool, the next great thing, what was that conversation like? Why did you choose Nebius? So we were looking around on all the other platforms. We also had some experience with other GPU cloud providers. And there are some very specific requirements we have on, on how to deploy, what are the compute use cases really to scale up quickly of course, have a favorable price around it. And some other reasons we chose another provider than our previous one, because things happened to us, like we lost our data two times over seven months. So the engineering foundation of the team and the platform and the application toolkit, being able to use Spark along with GPUs, like have a cluster between GPUs and CPUs, the Nebius platform looked like quite mature. We also talked to the life sciences team we checked what experience they had, what frameworks they were already using from NVIDIA, and all of these touch points reinforced our choices. And I want to get to what it meant for the team, but first let's back up a little bit. Tell us more about Lynx Analytics. Where are you based? Where are you from? Where are your customers? Sure. So we are actually based in three major centers, and then 70% uh, of our revenue is from the US, and the, the remaining is from Asia, Singapore, and also in Europe. So we have three offices, San Francisco, Singapore, Budapest, but we are doing mostly life sciences workloads and this is AI and machine learning. So we are covering from preclinical pre to the clinical trial and even some of the commercial elements. And we are working with some of the world's large pharma companies, Roche, Genentech, Novo Nordisk, or even like small biotechs like Hummingbird Biosciences. So very strong on the life sciences, even AstraZeneca across multiple locations. Yeah. And when you're talking about health and you're talking about life sciences and working with big pharmaceutical companies, it is in a lot of ways a global operation. How has Nebius being a global company helped you in that fight? So at this moment, obviously we are looking at the locations of where the clusters are, where the compute is. So for especially our R&D and new development workloads, they have multiple clusters available everywhere. But again, having one of the main clusters in Europe is very important because for some type of experimentation, even if it's just internally, you want to make sure that it's GDPR compliant, you have certain regulations to follow. So having available data centers in multiple locations is quite key. So that's in a way supporting the regional sort of locations of our teams. What tools and solutions are you building on the Nebulous Cloud? So we are doing a lot of cool technical stuff on it, but maybe just to explain one framework is like, on one side, you have a trained knowledge graph. And from the knowledge graph, you are trying to predict links. And this is applicable for multiple use cases. Then whatever you predicted links, you run it through a foundation model, a large language model. It can be a code-based model, like the open source DeepSeq model. It can be another type of very specific model, be it language model. And then all of these have to come through for evaluation by a third party system. So we call it the verification or the reward function. So once you have your predictions, you try to automate the evaluation of this prediction and then it reinforces back in the loop. So if your prediction was good, great. If your prediction was not so good, you have to invoke again the type of predictive engine from the graph and the language model and the reasoning and start again. So these are the type of architectures we do. Of course, when we talk to clients, we simplify it much better, be it like a commercial evaluation or be it like a clinical application. 
Now, you've had a great time getting your team up to speed with Nebius, and you brought some of your team members with you. I want to introduce you to Daniel first. Daniel, from an engineering standpoint, how has it been getting up to speed? What are some of the things you've learned along the way, and what support have you had from the Nebius team? It was great working with the Nebius team. Uh, everybody is uh, so happy to help, but we, we didn't need a lot of help, actually. The, the online documentation is fine. We were able to very quickly start up, a, a, you know, just a few clicks, you can start up an instance. And we had just finished uh, creating a demo on hugging face spaces. Mm. And we could take the same uh, Docker image and deploy it on Nebius. That was easy. But I'm, uh, what we haven't tried yet, but I'm looking very much forward to, is uh, I, I saw the button and it's tempting me <laughs> on the UI. That I could very easily start a, a, a GPU cluster, right. which uh, on other clouds, like, uh, we, uh, our experience has been that it, it's so much uh, difficulty setting it up, but in Nebius it looks like very nice. Um, to, to add to your previous answer, I wanted to mention that uh, we also have this uh, chatbot platform, Linkscribe, and, and for that, uh, the Nebius AI Studio looks like a, a perfect fit. Like, uh, we, we could uh, absolutely use that to serve our models. I'm looking forward to that as well. Daniel, as you're launching new products and services and you're testing new solutions and you're thinking in your engineering design meetings, we should try this, how important it is to have those that UX on the Nebia side that makes it easy to get started? It is very important, yes. Like, um, uh, my experience with uh, AWS is, is uh, like, at the end of the day, everything works and it's fine, but mm -hmm. just uh, I, I just... Uh, not like opening the UI. I, I just I know that I will have to edit a JSON file somewhere to yeah. configure something, some permissions, and uh, create some new roles and all that on Nebius. Uh, actually, I, I think that uh, uh, it's a huge advantage for you that you started from scratch and built this cloud from scratch because everything is so simple and streamlined. There's no like as a cloud ages, apparently it gets more Byzantine and uh, confusing to use. I I'm very happy with Nebius so far. That's fantastic. If you want to pass the mic over to Abik, I want to ask Abik a question. Now you're a data scientist. Yes, there I are am. lots of great tools out there. How are you using Nebius to go to the next level? So when we uh, look at uh, biology and the the way we solve problems in biology, it's not easy to, for using CPU. So we're leveraging a lot of NVIDIA GPUs and the Nebius Cloud to a lot of our computations, specifically in the Nemo services, the BioNemo and the tools they have provided to us, like BioNemo models of ESM2, AlphaFold, MolMIM for generative molecule design. Um, we are also experimenting with our tools as well, building on mm. top of Lynxkite, which is also our flagship product for running a lot of computations on top of the Nebius Cloud. So we are leveraging it to do a lot of small, small molecule generation and uh, designing small molecules. That's amazing, great stuff. And it's really good that you're really leveraging the full stack to kind of make it easy. Georgie, I want to come back to you for just a quick second as we wrap up here today at NVIDIA GTC. What is next for you and your use of Nebius? What are you looking forward to? What are you and I going to be sitting here well, along with the team talking about next year? Yeah, so we are designing a large biomedical knowledge graph which needs, first of all, a curation of specific data sets like the biobank that has like hundreds of millions protein types or clinical trials that are all these sort of new technologies or biomedical technologies are being evaluated on. Also past papers that have very specific machine learning libraries or methodologies that you want to re-implement in an easy to use Linkskite workflow. So what we want to do by next year is really have this run on an abuse cloud, so somehow also enabling customers to really choose their optimal choice of cloud. Obviously, many of these customers are already either on Azure or Google, they have already some GPU workloads there, but we will have to be very carefully designing that what are these new data sets and methodologies that we can just enable them on Nebuse. So like our vision is almost like you can come there, open up any type of this large biomedical knowledge graph do your own very quick workflow around it and you can start predicting, as Abik said, a couple of molecular similarities coming up with your next pipeline and this is all available both from a data and a methodology and the reusable pipeline perspective running on a clusters of GPUs where 
multi-model matrix multiplications can be used, and that's why Linksky 2000 is MN for the for for, for multimodal. Yeah, for multimodal, and also 2000 in in the Roman representations <laughs> like MN. So anyway, the the future is that we have this large biomedical knowledge graph, and you can do all kinds of predictions on it with our platform. I love that. Thank you so much, Georgie Daniel Habik. I'm Brian Westbrook. You're watching GeekWire Studios. Thanks for joining us.